I just pulled up to dry bar. I just, I found out last week that they do something called dry styling. So you could just wash your hair, blow dry it straight. And then you come here and for 20 or $25, they do the waves. So, um, yeah, instead of spending the 49, I spend 25 and I'm going to go from this poofiness. So I booked my appointment for 10 a.m. and they told me I was going to have to wait and there were about four women ahead of me. Now, I'm not mad at the girls, but what I am upset about is that dry bar, if you do not cancel your appointment two hours ahead of time, they charge you a $20 fee, a no-show fee. So I ended up rescheduling because I have things to do. I have a luncheon with some friends of mine later. What does dry bar do when they're the ones that are delaying you. I don't think I'm gonna call corporate. I told you I'm a particular customer, like very particular. Okay, uh, I just finished running an errand. Um, I'm back at Dry Bar. I have 15 minutes <clears throat> for my pushed back appointment. So I'm just gonna put on some blush. I didn't have time to do it earlier. I just want to say that customer service on the telephone was unhelpful, to say the least. They were the worst. This is the first time that I'm actually dissatisfied with dry bar services. And it has nothing to do with the ladies, it has to do with the customer service. The corporate. Oh my goodness, I feel my voice elevating because that's how angry I am. I'm actually angry they don't feel that your time is worth money but their time is worth money they did nothing to accommodate the fact that i pushed back my appointment two hours and 15 minutes even though i showed up on time all they could tell me was oh i'm so sorry but um you can either pick another time or whatever the case initially they told me that they could cancel the appointment if I decided to cancel it. And as my day was progressing, I felt like maybe I should cancel it. They're still gonna charge me the $20 fee. The service cost $25, so why am I gonna cancel that now? I'm so disappointed with the customer service. I mean, I, I really, I, they need to change that policy. They need to do something to accommodate their customers. It can't just be that their time is worth money and the customer's time is not worth anything. That's not right. People people who can't do their hair will rely on dry bar to get a certain style if it's a special event. What if this was a special event for me? Ugh. I'm so twisted right now. I'm really twisted. And now I look tired. I am tired. I, I, I'm exhausted. I feel like my forehead looks big. Does my forehead look big? I don't know. I'm trying to do that, you know, contouring, snatch the forehead thing. My eyes are so tired, though. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I'm just glad that my hair turned out nicely after that whole fiasco. I really feel like I could use some retail therapy right about now. I came home quickly so that I could wash my face and put my makeup on all over again. I just wasn't feeling good about myself. You know, I also lost an extra two hours of sleep. I worked last night, so that's another reason why I was cranky about the whole situation, because I could have slept longer. But anyway, quick outfit of the day is, um, I'm, oh, I'm wearing, uh, I got... <laughs> You're going to laugh. I call these my rope-a-dope CC earrings because if you look closely at the detailing, uh, it looks like it's rope tied tightly around. Uh, and then I'm wearing... Oh, I've never shared this with you. I got this really fluffy, fuzzy, cashmere-like zebra print sweater from H&M. I'm wearing my Zara coat. I also have on Zara faux leather pants with my these are my Balmain boots you know <laughs> one of my friends that I used to work with um she doesn't work with me anymore she used to make fun of these boots she used to call these my Johnny Cash boots 
I don't care. I love these Balmain boots. And I've paired it all together with my Pochette Matisse. Rings are the same. Uh, no necklace, no bracelets. And I'm not going to film lunch, although the ladies know that I do YouTube, but I'm just not going to throw them onto the internet. <sighs> I need to refrain from retail therapy. Even though I want to, I need to refrain. It might be hard with them though because they're like me, they like to shop. Okay, lunch is over. I've left the ladies. I ended up at a mall. <laughs> it's a long story for another time. Uh, I was talking with my friend Rami not too long ago and I was letting her know how I've been so good with not shopping that I have a feeling that when I make a purchase, it's just going to be, you know, a purchase. So <sighs> this happened. I'm so tired right now because I had one Bellini, two Bellini, three Bellini, floor. No, I'm kidding. It's just two. But I'm really tired. I've been up since super early. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to do an unboxing and let you know what I got from Apple. Initially, I was planning on purchasing the 64 gig. But the 7 Plus that I have is a 128 gig phone. I told the sales rep that I did a lot of digital creation. So unfortunately, because I do so much recording the only option for me was to get the 256 gigabyte the color that i chose oh god i fell in love with this midnight green oh my god it's just so beautiful it's got this matte finish and it feels really nice when you glide your fingers across so here are all of the accessories that come with the phone apparently this charger is supposed to charge your phone from zero to 50 or 55 percent in half an hour this is the charging cable and then it comes with the earbuds are they called ear pods or yeah ear pods i confuse them with airpods i guess we have a 6.5 super retina xdr oled panel uh, there are two front facing cameras in the front let's just Ooh. <laughs> I love the way that feels in the back there are the three cameras capable for wide lens filming and photos this is just so beautiful and sleek oh, I love the way this feels your options for this phone are uh, 64 gig at 1099 256 gigs for 1249 and then the largest which is 512 gigs for 449 i chose to open an apple card because they're offering a holiday sale where you get six percent off on your purchase now in some states that probably covers your tax a hundred percent in new york i have to pay 8.75 percent so that basically covers two tanks of gas <laughs> but if you look at it that way you know it's an extra six percent and if you plan on buying any apple accessories then you're going to save money on taxes and you'll be able to put more gas in your tank your color options are silver space gray gold midnight green i because i've had the seven plus for the last three years in this uh, rose gold, I just figured, you know, I figured I enjoyed a pink phone for a little while. So just move on to a color that gives me more of a sense of money. What I really want to see is the money. So silver, space gray, gold, midnight green. They're also dust resistant and water resistant. So you have front and back glass, and then you have stainless steel trim all the way around the phone. You have dual speakers on the bottom. The new Apple comes with a better facial recognition to open your phone, but I've never used that. Um, I'm not a fan of something like that. <laughs> if someone wanted to kidnap me and tie me up, all they have to do is point the phone to my face. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies, I know. I prefer to have the standard type in code. And to state the obvious, the phone is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GPS capable. Here's the phone case that I chose. I know it's not that attractive to a lot of people, but 
the reason I chose this was because it has a very understated aesthetic to it, which will be helpful for my shopping blogs. I wanted to have a folio case. So if I am recording, the screen would be closed and it would just go under the radar. I do like the fact that there are, are slots here for carrying cash or business cards or even a bank card if you prefer. Um, but yeah, extra added security for the safety of the glass in front. I will definitely pick up a screen protector that is a tempered glass screen protector because this is not crack proof like the 7 Plus. Uh, the 7 Plus I actually dropped several times. Let's see if I can show you the scratches. I don't really think that the scratches will pick up on screen, but I have one, two, three scratches. This phone is three years old. Uh, I actually dropped it where it landed like this, and the only protection I had for it was this phone case that I picked up when I was in London, summer of 2018. So um, the fact that it did last the way it did, that's one thing I'm going to miss about that, the screen. <laughs> This is uh, Keanu Reeves, by the way, on top of his Arch motorcycle. He's my celebrity crush. 